Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy 2014! Today we're gonna be starting this year with a very intense makeup look. Don't worry about my hair, I didn't cut it. I just pulled it up to recreate a little bit more complete look. Today we're gonna be doing Beyonce makeup look on hair blast video. Mine features Drake. It's a very beautiful, intense, vivid makeup look. So we're gonna see how we do this. Just keep on watching. So let's get started. We're gonna prime our lids with our eye primer and then we're gonna create a blue base by using a blue cream eyeshadow all over our lid and blend it into the crease and to blend easier the cut we're gonna be using this burgundy eyeshadow and apply it on the crease and to blend this burgundy I'm gonna be using a matte peach eyeshadow and blend it on top. Use a fluffy brush to get a more soft subtle finish and I'm gonna start applying the blue, the first blue is a medium tone blue and I'm gonna apply it on the outer V creating a small wing and also on the inner part leaving the central of the lid free of color and I'm gonna blend it to create a soft edge next it's gonna be help myself to blend this color by using a soft peach on the crease and I'm gonna apply a little intense blue on the outer part and the inner part a darker blue and blend it and then I'm gonna go back into the central where it's free of color and apply this bright blue, really nice contrast and blend it together. I'm gonna reapply a little bit the darker blue on the outer, uh, the outer part to intensify the look. And I'm going to give a little more bright effect on the bright blue by applying a white pigment on top and blend it. That will uh, won't affect the color but it'll give a nice bright uh, effect. I'm gonna clean up the bottom part of my eye by using concealer and going back to the bottom lash line. I'm gonna apply a forest green on most of the line and on the tilted area I'm gonna apply a lighter green and blend out together. I'm gonna intensify the outer part of the makeup by applying a matte black eyeshadow in the outer V and also a little bit on the outer part of the bottom lash line and blend it all together. Apply as many times as you want until you get the intensify you need. I'm gonna apply also on the outer part on the upper lash line a little bit of black pencil and blend it together to intensify a little bit more and to open up the uh, look I'm gonna apply a beige pale eyeshadow pencil on the waterline and moving to my eyebrows. Use the technique that you want using the tool that you want and fix it as you like it. Next is gonna be giving a little soft brush to soft them a little bit out and apply a little bit concealer on the base to create more defined look to the eyebrows. Next is going to be curl my lashes and I apply mascara, you can apply your favorite one. And next is going to be apply false lashes. Falsies is something very dramatic that you can skip but it gives a very cool look to the makeup. Next is going to be to move to the face. I always get a question why I do my foundation after I do my eyes. Well, sometimes when I use intense eyeshadows, you can get fall down on the face. So it's better to don't have a foundation yet so you can clean them up and then apply your foundation to have a more neat finish. When you're done, blend it really nice and set it with loose translucent powder, compact or whatever you need. And then I'm gonna give back some volume to my face by contouring. I'm gonna do it all over around my face, giving the attention of the central, and I'm gonna apply a soft neutral blush. We don't want to divert the attention from the eyes. It's a lot going on in the eyes, so we're gonna soft it up the rest of the face. So I'm gonna go for a new lip. I'm gonna just apply a new lip liner all over my lips and fill them in, and apply just a new lip. I'm gonna give uh, um, a touch of gloss on the top, but you can also apply just foundation on your lips and this touch of gloss. And last touch is gonna be apply the same pigment I applied on the lid, just on the tiered area. I'm gonna pull up my hair because I don't have short hair anymore, just to recreate the effect of the Beyond Sun hair video. And we are done with this multicolor smoky eye. Well guys, I hope you liked it, thumbs up if you did, and if you recreate this look, please share a picture with me on any of my social media, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, and or just can follow me and see how tons of pictures I upload every day. So thanks so much for spending some time with me, be happy, see you next one, bye!